Hi, I'm Andrew with NVIDIA and you're watching GeForce Garage. Today's episode is all about eSports and we want to show you how to build a rig that doesn't require four titans to play some of the most popular games like Dota 2, League of Legends and CSGO. I have a top League of Legends pro with me today and we're going to build the perfect system for all your favorite eSports games. Hey guys, I'm Jodat, Boy Boy Esfahani. What's up, dude? Thanks for coming in. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. So, have you ever built your own PC? I did it once with my dad a few yeah. years ago, cool. but I'm not an expert by any means. What is it that you look for in an eSports PC? So, the biggest thing for me, really, is reliability and consistency. I don't need, like, a massive beast to play at, like, 7,000 FPS. I just need something that's going to run well. I need to have consistent frame rate, um, no lag, so I can plan my gameplay and, like, muscle memory and all of that kind of around my computer. So, it's kind of like my, my partner in crime when we're making plays. Well, we're going to build a system that's going to do exactly that for you today, and it's going to be a nice tidy system with the GTX 960, so it's going to be super awesome. I'm looking forward to it. All right, so we got some awesome components, and we're going to use these in our build, but no build is complete without a box to put the stuff in. So All right. we're going to use this awesome case by EVGA called the Hadron. It's a nice small form factor, and we're going to put all this stuff in there and make it play well. Sounds good to me. And one of the first things that you usually want to do in a new case is install the power supply. But sure. for this particular build, it just comes with the case. We know you like League of Legends, of course, so we uh, did some custom sleeving on the power okay. supply cables to match the colors of League of Legends. Yeah, the client. Okay, okay we'll cool. go with that. So let's go ahead and grab that motherboard and pull it out. This is an awesome motherboard. So Zeus makes probably the best motherboards on the planet, and this is a micro ITX Zeus motherboard. Some of the things that you can do to make your build a little bit easier is start with the motherboard out of the box, especially with a small build like this, uh, like the Hadron system. It's really tight inside the case. So doing work once you get the motherboard installed is difficult. Yeah. So we're gonna put the parts on the motherboard first and then put it in the case. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna remove the protective cover from the CPU. And that'll reveal the socket right there. Um, just kind of pull that guy off. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna undo the clip. Put that guy in there, line up your arrow, and then just push tightly and bam, and you're good. So now most of the stock coolers that come with the Intel chips have uh, thermal paste already installed on the cooler. But what we did mm -hmm. is we cleaned that off and we're gonna use some of our a um, little bit nicer thermal paste to kind of make connection a little better. All right. So why don't you grab the thermal paste um, and take the cap off there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is put just like a little pea-sized dot right in the center of the CPU there. All right, so now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna install the CPU cooler right on top there, just press it straight on down. The clips that you see around there go into those holes. One of the ways that um, you can ensure that your thermal paste gets evenly dispersed is you, um, you do the clips in catty corner order. So you start here, go here, go here, go here. That way you're not just, you know. Yep, just like that. All right, so now spin that cable and uh, connect it to the CPU fan spot. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the RAM onto the motherboard. The HyperX 16 gig 1833 clock memory. It's super good. HyperX is awesome. You know them. They do a lot for eSports. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome company. So open that bad boy up and this is one of the easiest parts. RAM is a super straightforward installation. So the way you install RAM is you make sure that the, the short end of the pins mm. uh, lines up with the short end of the slot on the motherboard. And then just press it down equally on both sides and then uh, use both your thumbs on each end and just push down kind of hard. Yeah. Boom, there you go. Right. So now you want to do it with the second stick. Nice. Cool. So there you go, you just installed RAM. Wow. Easy mode. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is install the motherboard into the case and then put the rest of the things together. Cool. Right. So what you want to do is you want to angle the I.O. in first and kind of line it up with the ports. So a little scoop. Exactly. Okay, so another cool tip to keep our build tidy since it's such a small case uh -huh. is we're going to take this fan cable here and we're going to run it under the motherboard like you've already done. And then you're going to plug it into the port right here on the top of the motherboard. And that's going to allow you to give power to the fan as well as run the cable under the motherboard right in between the standoffs and the back of the chassis. It keeps cables out of the way. With a build as small as this, you want to keep everything as tidy as possible. It Spin slipped right in. Spin to win, you know? <laughs>
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a nice trick to install the SATA cable for the SSD. And we have a super awesome 480 gig SSD. This is gonna be able to hold all of your games and your OS and everything else. This is big enough that you can uh, store videos that you're capturing for offline stuff, all sorts of things. We've already kind of installed this into the bracket. Um, which slides right into the case. Yep. So what you're going to do is you're going to slide it in this one and then we have a nice trick with the SATA cable to kind of keep it even more tidy inside this tiny cat. In here, in the chassis, those are the SATA connectors on the motherboard and that's where you connect your SATA cables. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and start by plugging that guy in. Alright, got it. Cool, so now what you're going to do is you're going to kind of bend this guy uh -huh. so that it, it flattens up against the deck here. Okay. And then you're going to stuff it down in here. Okay. Then we're going to use the other... This thing? Yeah, to kind of keep, keep it that, down? Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay, gotcha. So now what you'll do is you'll clip this into the back of the SSD here. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of look at the bottom of it and see how there's kind of a little L there. Yeah. So that corresponds with the L on the this back one, right. Yep. Okay. Pop it right there. Yep, bam. So now there's a nice spot for us to just kind of slide that guy in. Well, that kind of keeps the cable nice and tidy in there and keeps it out of the way. There's another trick with SATA cables, and I learned this from Lee Harrington, a uh, special modder. This is called the DB method. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is you can take a screwdriver or a pencil, yeah. and you can wrap the SATA cable around this. Not only will this kind of tighten up the cable length, so if you have a short distance that you need to travel, this will let you kind of just clip it in and then go like that. And if you need more length, you can kind of just extend it. Yeah, it's like a little yeah. slinky. All right, so now what we're gonna do is connect the chassis connections, which are USB 3, HD audio, and then, of course, the power button and the reset switch. Okay. Um, so go ahead and uh, connect those up. That red connection here is the USB 3. So we pre-installed the audio card on the motherboard. See these pins on the back right here? Yep. That's where you want to connect the HD audio for the chassis. So this is the power for the GPU here. This is Molex power for other parts of the case that we're not going to use. So this is your CPU power. Um, and that powers basically, you know, the entire CPU cluster, all four cores. See back there, that eight pin connector right beside the RAM? Oh, I see it. Yep, so that's where you want to plug that guy in. So now what you want to do is you want to plug in the main power to the motherboard. This is the main power for everything in there. So you want to come up over the top of those cables to hide the crappy cables. What you're going to want to do is you're going to install the GPU. This is a GTX 960. Um, it's the new hotness based on the Maxwell architecture. It's an awesome card for eSports because it allows you to play all the games that you want at high settings. Like you were saying, it's super reliable, super quiet, super cool, so you're never going to have any problems with it while you're you know, doing your business. Very cool. Uh, first, you want to take out the screws to remove these plates here yeah. that are uh, protecting the I.O. of the computer right now. So right here, these are the, the teeth that you slide into the little notches right here, and that kind of keeps it flush against the back of the case okay. and aligns it for the, uh, the PCI slot on the motherboard. There you go. So now you want to make sure that it's also aligned with the socket there. See that? Now you just want to push down. Yep. Oh my god. Easy mode, right? There it is. Boom. Damn, I'm a GPU expert now. Dude, you are. So now we want to put the same screws in that we took out before. That's pretty much it, dude. So boy, boy, you built yourself a brand new gaming PC. You did a great job. Thank you, it was a, it was a great pleasure. I got to hone my PC building craft, got a nice machine to run League. I know you're super busy, so thanks so much for coming on and I uh, really appreciate your time. No problem, man. Thanks for having me. Of course. See you, nerds. Please go to geforce.com garage and give us some feedback on what you need help with. Whether it's something super simple and basic or something really advanced and awesome, let us know because we want to do videos that you guys want. You're watching GeForce Garage, the ultimate resource center for designing, building, and customizing your GTX PC.